Hi, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book me for a personal, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. Okay. So, we're doing things a little different today as opposed to me just going straight into the reading i wanted to get a card for how your person feels about you what they wanted to say to you but they are not saying so your person wanted to let you know that they are working on their bad habits okay and that they think about you every single day Okay, so you guys could be together or you guys could be separated. But either way, whatever your story is, this person is working on themselves. And they do do it because they think about you when they're doing it. All right. So let's see. Spirit, please tell me what this person is feeling. What does this person think? No, I'm sorry. What is the situation between Aquarius and this person? What is the situation between this person and Aquarius? What is the situation between Aquarius and this person? The temperance, the devil... And the Five of Pentacles. So some of you guys may not be on the greatest of terms right now. Um, there could be a bit of some overthinking going on that may be becoming toxic. Somebody always feels like they're going to be left out in the cold. Somebody always feels like somebody is basically playing them. Somebody's basically crazy. Yeah. With the moon car here, I'm almost getting the idea that it's like... This person doesn't open up emotionally and tell you how they feel. They may touch the waters a little bit, but they're not opening up enough to actually let you know. Yeah. And with the Queen of Pentacles, you're just sitting here being a stable, a stable and solid person to this person. But you don't even know how they really feel or what they want to do. And it's starting to make you feel like maybe you should walk away or withdraw your emotions from this person. Because you don't know whether or not this person is trying to play you or not. Now, I also feel like if you are apart from this person, perhaps you need to stay apart from this person. Because if you guys come back together, it's just going to end fast. For my others of you who are with this person, there's a sense of this person being very distant, withdrawn from you. It's a sense of you not knowing what's going on with this person. Y'all constantly bickering and babbling and going back and forth between shit. Spirit is saying maybe you should start looking into a, a different place to stay. So, I feel like a lot of you guys live together. So, let's see how this person feels about you. Spirit, please tell me how this person feels. How does this person feel about my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Aquarius? King of Wands, this person is extremely passionate about you. It's so passionate, it's a burden to them, okay? Because they love you. And I feel like they don't tell you that much, all right? It could be a Pisces. But if it's even if it's not a, a Pisces, this person is, like, bent over backwards, always thinking that something is just not right, okay? I don't know why, because it's like their intuition is letting them know that everything is fine, but they still worry about it working out, okay? I feel like you guys are leading towards marriage. Maybe you guys had the conversation in marriage, or maybe this person is just genuinely thinking about popping a question. They're working on it, alright? But again, they're also very burdened by this connection, because they're afraid that if they give their all, they will get her they don't trust you but they're working on that okay four swords yeah they're working on it all right give them time they may not be telling you this but they're withdrawing their energy because again they're still very insecure all right the strength card definitely a lot of cards are holding back needing rest needing to rejuvenate not trusting their intuition not being their full selves feeling really heavy your person is going through a really really bad cycle but it's, it has nothing to do with you this is external to you okay this is his own person's problems. Their own bad habits. This is why their relationships are always fucked up. Because your person is a little fucked up. Okay? So let's see what the outcome is. Spirit, what is the outcome? What is the outcome, Spirit? Please tell me what is the outcome. The Knight of Swords. 
the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles so i see this person coming in you know unexpectedly fast as fuck offering some type of communication some maybe some time this person might want to spend a little bit of time with you because you've been doing your own thing not bothering them but i feel like you'll be very happy to hear from them all right now let's see what the advice is with this you need to follow your intuition because I feel like this person is getting a bit too heavy for you too. Spirit is saying maybe it's time for you to put your motherfucking shoes on and hit the road, Jack. Because nobody got time to keep dealing with somebody's crazy ass energy for the rest of your life. I mean, unless you got time. I mean, but do you really? Because you don't even know if you're going to die tomorrow. Now, with that being said, let's get one card from the Love Oracle. And it says past life relationship you guys have known each other before all right bye guys